It has been said in the Dhammapad, abstain from all unwholesome deeds, perform wholesome ones, purify your mind. This is the teaching of enlightened persons. What are wholesome deeds and what are the unwholesome ones? Any action that harms others, that disturbs their peace and harmony is a sinful action and unwholesome action. Any action that helps others, that contributes to their peace and harmony is a pious action, a wholesome action. There are three types of wrong conduct a human being is capable of wrong conduct with words, wrong conduct with body and wrong conduct with mind. There are four subdivisions of wrong conduct with words. False speech, slanderous speech, harsh speech and idle chatter. Abstaining from false speech. Herein, someone avoids false speech and abstains from it. One speaks the truth, is devoted to truth, reliable, worthy of confidence, not a deceiver of people. Abstaining from slanderous speech. <clears throat> One avoids slanderous speech and abstains from it. What one has heard here, one does not repeat there so as to cause dissension there. And what one has heard there, one does not repeat here so as to cause dissension here. Abstaining from harsh speech. One avoids harsh language and abstains from it. One speaks such words as are gentle, loving, soothing to the ear. Such words go to the heart and are courteous, friendly and agreeable to many. Abstaining from idle chatter. One avoids idle chatter and abstains from it. One speaks at the right time in accordance with facts, speaks what is useful. One's speech is like a treasure, uttered at the right moment, accompanied by reason, moderate and full of sense. There are three subdivisions of wrong conduct with body. Taking life, taking what is not given and sexual misconduct. Abstaining from taking of life. Herein someone avoids the taking of life and abstains from it. Without stick or sword, Conscientious, full of sympathy, one is desirous of the welfare of all sentient beings. Abstaining from taking what is not given. One avoids taking what is not given and abstains from it. What another person possesses of goods and property that he does not take away with thievish intent. Abstaining from sexual misconduct. 
one avoids sexual misconduct and abstains from it there are three subdivisions of wrong conduct with mind covetousness ill will and wrong view abstaining from covetousness here someone avoids being covetous one is not a coveter of another's goods and property abstaining from ill will towards others one avoids a mind of ill will and hatred towards other beings abstaining from wrong view one avoids wrong view distorted vision there are three types of right conduct a human being is capable of right conduct with words right conduct with body and right conduct with mind how can one perform wholesome deeds one can perform wholesome deeds by practicing right speech right action and right conduct with mind right speech means speaking in ways that are trustworthy harmonious comforting and worth taking to heart when you make a practice of these positive forms of right speech your words become a gift to others right action is behaving peacefully and staying in harmony with fellow human beings right mental conduct is having good will for others and cultivating the right view to purify your mind you have to cultivate wholesome states and abandon unwholesome states by seeking wisdom and practicing meditation this is the essence of the teaching of enlightened persons